YouTube, what's up guys? Right back where we left off. Hope you guys enjoyed the Megan coilovers. Haven't driven on them yet. Uh, we're just coming right back at you with the uh, cross drilled, but not slotted, uh, brake rotors. These are affordable rotors. Uh, all four of them and brake pads are what we're gonna be doing today. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. It's pretty simple. Why am I doing this? This car came from North Carolina and the calipers are just disgusting. The brakes are shot, the e-brake needs tightened, um, the calipers are ugly, and I kind of just like a nice aesthetic look. Um, brake rotors, if they're not, I mean, if they're just steel ones, they're pretty affordable to get these and pads instead of just doing the pads. So I do recommend uh, doing a one-two punch like I'm going today. today. So um, I do have all four. Let's jump right into it. We're gonna do the driver's side first. Also in this video, once I have these installed, I will paint the um, calipers red so you guys will see like, whoa, that looks really good, way better than this does. It's because I'm gonna paint that. I'm gonna show you guys in this one, two video, which is a nice video. I like when it's one, two all together instead of two separate ones. So this will be just the best brake setup on a Celica, I think for the money. And in addition, we got those new Megan coilovers, which were a fortune, but I got a good deal on. So let's jump right into the video. Okay, two 17 millimeters on the back side which is right here and right here. You can remove the caliper and then on mine, the rotor just fell. Look at that rust bucket. Okay, before, after. Ooh, these are black painted right here. They should be um, resistant to corrosion, which look nice, perfect. Really excited for these. One of the things that you need to do is take a wire brush, clean this, and then another good idea is to paint the shield around it as well and then lubricate it so we're going to do all of those things and we're also going to clean the caliper itself and take the pads the pads actually had a lot of life left on them but the inside definitely was this car must have sat i think this car sat that's what i'm thinking it's already starting to look a little bit better so i did scrub with a wire brush around here to get the uh, corrosion off or rust uh there is a caliper it's sitting on top of the heat shield uh, what we're gonna do now is uh, I've pulled the two old brake pads out. Here they are. Okay, here's one. There's some life on it, and here's two. Uh, this is gonna be inside, and it's gonna be the other one. Here's the new brake pads. You can see how much more life is on them. Uh, and they're very similar in look, which they should be. Um, this one's just a little beat. I'm not sure why that one was just so beat. Uh, and then right here, I'm pretty sure the brake job was done a while ago. So here we are, uh, all four of them. I think they're gonna be all the same and then they'll, they'll be interchangeable, but we'll make sure on this, I don't recall. Okay, yeah, they look all the same. So what we'll do is we will take two of them. So we'll do this one to there and that one to there. We'll match it and we'll put these two on the other side of the front and then these are the pads. They're pretty small, you know, I just did my Evo 10 a little bit ago and Evo 9. Those Brimbos are significantly larger than these. It's definitely not a brake brake kit, but uh, they do work and the car doesn't weigh very much. So it's about 2,500 pounds and so it does slow down really quick. Now it's not as light as my Lotus or my MR2, but still very, very light. So we're gonna discard these as we did the already rotor and we'll slide these, uh, these guys right into there after the reason i want this clip is so important you should have one of these what this is is it it pushes the piston back in so a piston all it does is move up and down it's like a little piston this is a piston um what you do is this is going to push it back into its socket push a little bit of brake fluid back out so that you can slide the uh, pads in over the new rotor and then technically that's about it so honestly two 17 millimeters and just to know what you're doing. Okay, something you want to do as you put the pads in is you want to purchase this, uh, uh, just a superior lubricant, high temp grease, and you'll want to grease the piston on the back side of that and grease the little sliders. Those two things, well, these are called sliders, but the little brackets that they're in, uh, otherwise you brake wheel squeak and you don't want that, so you want it nice. Uh, as you can see, I did push the piston back in. I actually opened up the brake um, line. That's what this is right here to push out the pressure. Uh, and then I will need to step on the brakes to bleed the brakes back into the vehicle because I did push, uh, there is a gap of air right in here now. Um, so we'll have to bleed the brakes. Uh, that being said, 
That looks really, really good. Uh, right there, we're ready to actually mount it back on. We will grab the rotor, put the rotor on, and then put the two 17 millimeters on. Uh, we'll mass this up. I did use high temp heat on the back of the heat shield. That's why it's starting to look really nice. It looks way better than what it did before. Um, Ten dollars brake pads and uh, rotors probably gonna be like 400 300 400 um, But all in all with even the little stuff and the tools you could probably do this whole job in your garage mm, Probably like on max affordability. I'm, I'm thinking like 300 bucks <laughs> It's a pretty good deal versus a shop charging you 1400. Okay now that we have the uh, 17s back on as you guys can see uh, the new rotors behind here here's that ugly caliper we're going to be using i mean you could go with this why don't i do that that'd be kind of cool matte but i don't know we're going to use this red uh a little bit different red than my car but pretty spot on um to be honest rustoleum is a brand it's an american brand really popular uh up to 900 or 900 the this is up to 2000 it's hot enough obviously one coat done looks amazing this paint's weird. Every time I use it, it wants to run immediately and it is like 80 degrees outside and I've shake, shaken the can a lot. It always does this. Do very light coats, like just like don't even try to cover it. Light, light, light. And then do like four or five of them and it will turn out good, but it always wants to run immediately. So be really gentle on the paint, applying it if you're gonna use the Rust-Oleums. That looks so good. I can't wait to remove that plastic bag. Uh, we're going to work on the next one, the, the passenger side. On the next video, we will be coming back with some wheel spacers that I think are one full inch. And we'll be coming with, I'm going to sneak peek you guys, a sneak peek. Sneak peek, if you're here for the video and you like Mitch Ray, me, sneak peek, sneak peek, sneak peek, sneak peek. What's under here? You guys ready? These are, we're going to be rolling on these. GR86 TRD wheels. Ooh, amazing. So we're gonna be putting those on this and we're gonna have the most amazing race car ever. Coilovers, all this. Um, and this is a really budget friendly build. Um, I'm gonna have like a supercharged Celica that's beating everything and I can't wait. Uh, I actually, this car is really faster than I remember. The MR2 is really fast, but I'm loving it. Looks great. We're on the driver's or passenger side two 17 millimeter bolts, replace those out, and then just slip on those pads. This is a pretty easy job. Um, I love the brake calipers. This is a very satisfying thing. Make sure that you crawl on your back and get the back side of it like I just did. You're gonna get dirty. Uh, we will let those dry uh, overnight. So I'm gonna let the car sit obviously for overnight. I mean, it's, literally guys, the Celica has been sitting here for like a month. I'm sorry. Uh, we'll have it on the road probably by Friday. So we're gonna pull these off the same thing on the back there's going to be these are really small and cute these brakes are super small and cute there's going to be uh, i think these are 17s they might be 15s right here they'll, they'll pop right off this is hideous here's the thing there is shoes underneath here for the e-brake which i need to tighten them as i fall down uh because this e-brake sucks and it drags and so I'll show you, I have a huge feeling it's gonna fall and crumble and I actually might need to get a new uh, e-brake for the like little drum thing. I'll show you on the side, well, new pads. I, I don't, I've never ordered those before, but I'm a feeling because look how rusty that is. So do this, um, if you're doing a brake job at your house, like I am on your Celica, you can do this. Uh, I like to do everything myself because if I took this to the shop, they would just slap on the parts. They wouldn't do anything. They do no cleaning, no nothing, they don't, they don't take care of stuff like I do. So use my videos. I have mainly how-to videos on my YouTube channel and you get sick stuff like this. Go look at my Evo 9 build of this. Oh my gosh, I killed it with that. Um, I missed that car. Okay, well, let's move on over to the rear. Two 17 millimeters here and here. Um, it's on the back side. It will pull out the front of the caliper. You have this exposed. Uh, first off, look how icky this uh, uh, heat shield is it's literally like falling apart. It sucks um, The shoe for the e-brake is actually okay uh, Will it be able to spin and expand which is gonna be there's a little click here. I think it will be I think it just needed to be pushed out a little bit to tighten the e-brake uh, And then what I'm gonna do is clean all this with a wire brush and then hit it with some paint Some high temp paint so it looks aesthetic. You know, it's me. Uh, you should do the same to yours. Here is the brake setup 
old rotor, new rotor. I probably shouldn't have set that on the ground, but whatever. Um, here's a little cover. Here are the two pads. With the two pads, you have these things called these little pins that keep them in. They go into here and here, and then they just sit with the brakes, just literally like, like that. There's two keepers. Make sure you keep the keeper. One of these keepers, this one goes into the two little holes here, and then this little keeper is to hold the top keeper in, and I'll show you guys how that goes in before I put it all together. I'm going to toss the old stuff, scrub the old stuff, scrub it. I, you can literally see through this heat shield. I just want, this is crazy. I should just buy a new one. Oh, well, uh, we'll do my best. Coil over gel down there. Dude, buy cars from California. That is some BS. I hate that. Um, buy cars from California. Buy cars from Arizona. Buy cars from, yeah, those are the good places. Uh, people say not from Florida, but I think you're wrong. I think Florida can get rusty cars. Um, so I yanked that off, so we're going to get rid of those. We'll clean this up, paint it, put it all back together. Ow, that looks good. Uh, so let's go back over here. Okay, I didn't do a very good job showing you. Um, we're going to use the one that's already on here. So do you see the little sliders? And then there's the keepers. So that's what's keeping it in there. There's the little sliders. Man, that is rusty compared to my other side. Um, two 17 millimeters. It'll slide off. Uh, put your e-brake down. Oops, my light turned off. Put your e-brake down so the wheel can spin freely because if you have your e-brake up, it won't spin freely. And then the, the, the wheel, the drum, sorry, I'm gonna pull this back in. The drum won't come off. So just two 17 millimeters, pull off the brake. I should show you guys, I need a tripod. I have one, I just don't do it. But two 17 millimeters, pull this off, slide this out, change the pads, put those back in, cover it back up with my trash bag, best thing ever, and then spray paint it. <laughs> That's literally what we're doing, and it'll turn out like this. My Evo 9, which just wait until I pull that, when I pull that bag away, mm, I'll do that before the end of the video. Uh, then we're gonna come with some wheel spacers and put the car on the ground and drive it on Friday. I'm gonna drive this car to Friday, on work to Friday. And there is no better turnout than that. So 24 hours, let it dry. That is amazing. It looks just like my Evo. Uh, I love the black on the center. I, this is so good because it's not a rust anymore. I love the red ro uh, caliper. It looks so good. The cross drilled rotor and the Megan coilovers. This is a beautiful setup. It's amazing. I did a 10 out of 10. This looks just like my Evo. I love it. This is hard work. Definitely worth it. Make sure to like, subscribe. We're coming back tomorrow with some wheels and some spacers. I, I'm super happy with it. The coilovers were a, a fight to install. This was pretty okay, pretty easy to install. Uh, but yeah, I, I think I did a great job with this. This Celica is going to look absolutely amazing. Going down the road. Completely transformed all four corners. Uh, the favorite part that you're gonna enjoy is actually just removing. Oh my gosh, look at that. That looks brand new. That looks better than factory. Um, the best part is removing the trash bags. You're gonna get a lot of satisfaction out of that. All right, so if you have any questions, comment down below, I'll help you. Like, subscribe, swing by my website, mishtray.com. More Celica GTS stuff coming. I think I wanna maybe like buy a cheap GT. And give it away. I think that'd be kind of cool. Do a build and then give the build away. Uh, a onesie Z. That might be a good idea. Anyways, make sure to like, subscribe, swim on We are going to do new wheels tomorrow. See you guys then.